Hey, what's going on? I just got a new mic, so I figured I'd start making videos of my face. Why not, right? So I don't have to carry around that giant mic. If you've all seen my videos before, you know I have a giant mic I carry it around. Now I have a mic that I hit a clip with a clip thing. So I'm so stoked. I want to go over five games that I really enjoyed last year that I received, got to play, and I really want to share with you and hope that you all give a chance to either check it out or try it out or get a copy yourself. Uh, one game I really want to talk about is this awesome, really quick paced, but really complicated in the best way possible board game called Kiwedon. Kiwedon's actually on Kickstarter right now, as this video is being made. And you play as three characters that are going to be three, going down this board, making your way to the bottom. Is that the bottom? Yes, it is. From the top to the bottom. Throughout the game, you're collecting... Um, like power-ups that will always be randomized on the board and pretty much the quickest whoever gets to the bottom of the board the quickest wins which it's, it's a really great game because you don't see board games that can be played in less than five minutes at quickest I've ran through this game a couple times and we have beat the game in five turns uh, well not five turns but in five minutes because of just how lucky the player was getting all the like boosts and such another game I want to show off is a party game that I just received, but I loved it, and I knew it came out last year, was By the Rights. This party game is great because it pretty much pits you as a producer, or you are pretty much pitching an idea to a producer. It has a genre, a descriptor, a hero, and a plot, which all work together to make this really awesome pilot idea that you'll pitch to a producer who will obviously be rotating throughout the group you're playing. And they have $20 million to give to these pitches. Uh, if you're lucky, they'll like you enough and give you all 20 million. But in our playthrough, we were pretty much just giving some people 10, the other people 5. Nothing, nobody feels left out. Uh, there was four of us in the group, so somebody always felt left out because he never got paid. It's all good. I'm not mad. True story. Uh, now, this is definitely something, a 21 plus, if you want to add alcohol to it. If not, I don't see why you can't play with any anything if you want to play with, like, who gets to choose the next board game or not. Uh, the game's really simple, but I just it always hits the table. And a lot of us aren't drinking. We're just playing to play because it's just an, a fun experience. Um, what you do is you'll pull a card. This one's After Midnight. And you'll tell a story from After Midnight. It could be true or it could be false. That's the point of the game. You're having everybody else guess if it's true or false. Um, and depending on how many people guess correctly or incorrectly, you get the point. And the point is keeping the card. Uh, if you do have you know, alcohol involved, you can base it off that. Actually, in the back, they have the entire descriptor of how to do so. Uh, really fun, though. A really great experience that we all have with that. Last in the party games of this five that I want to show off is Blank This Game. Blank This Game is really neat. Uh, take the idea of Cards Against Humanity. Take any party game for that example. This game gives you four questions or fill in the blanks that you can say, right? Uh, what's the worst thing you could say to a cop after being pulled over? Now, instead of having a set hand of cards to pick from, this game provides you with a whiteboard and pens. So you're pretty much writing your own. Uh, what I described in the review when I wrote this and what I'd like to say again is it pretty much innovates the idea of analog gaming you know we have a lot of virtual games right now like the jack party box or whatever uh that make board games but they're actually like virtual games you can't really recreate that in board games i think we just did this allows you the freedom to write whatever you want i think it's great it's uh, definitely a game that always hits the table as well especially in large groups um this plays up to eight so you know if you have groups up to eight really great game that you can throw on there and have people enjoy. Uh, last but not least in this top five is a micro card game that I actually just placed, uh, played, but I think it did come out last year. It's Bitten by Playgrim Games. Um, Playgrim Games worked with us since we first started. Uh, the original game Grim is a dice rolling game. It was fantastic, especially at the time. We weren't really into board games yet. We were just getting in, in, um, introduced to a lot of new things. So this game was definitely one of those games I was like, this is why we're doing it. We're excited to be in the tabletop. Um, in Bitten, one player could or could not be bitten. And that is the hidden identity part. 
So you want to collect one of each resource, which is water, food, vehicle, and weapon. Or you can find the person who is bitten. Or if you are bitten, you kind of want to let those t that time run out. Um, as you can tell, there's a lot of ways to win. There's a lot of ways to lose. Uh, the person who's bitten definitely wants the timer to run out, or they just don't want to be caught. Now, in each hand, you'll always have two cards. So there are cards that will allow you to steal from other people, or to view other cards, or to steal, or to take rations. Um, and it's all played under five minutes. So it's one of those games that are just really quick and really easy to get to the end. Uh, great for fillers, great if you're in between really deep, long, heavy games. Um, it's a really great, fluent gameplay. Well, that was the top five of 2016 for me through video. I think they're all pretty great. You know, it's a nice variety of board games that are party games or quick board games or quick card games. As you can tell, it's all pretty like quick paced gaming at the moment. But I'm just really excited to have my mic, so I wanted to show it off. So thanks for watching.